she gives me money <laughs> when I'm in need. Yeah, she's a trifling <laughs> friend indeed. They say she's a gold digger way over time. <laughs> and that digs on me. <laughs> what is <laughs> What is going on, Sip Nation? What's going on? Happy Saturday to y'all. Happy Saturday. What's good? How are y'all doing? It is a good old Saturday. I am your host with the most, as always, MC Shaky, MC Shaky Live. Sip Nation, we are here on a Saturday, which is not, which is very uncommon for us. Um, let me go ahead and on with the church announcements, you heard me. Y'all, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. For those that are watching this on YouTube and for Instagram, make sure you hit that follow button. Um, for Sip Nation, we are going to be doing very soon, very shortly, the contest giveaway. Uh, I had to postpone it for reasons that I spoke of on my live but we will be doing it for those that are looking for that all right um so let's just get right into what we're talking about today because i was just bored this good old saturday um i recently made a post on instagram and that post says and i will um i don't want to put music but it's just saying uh i came across okay so listen um basically just giving you a little background about it the bread has to file in the united states bankruptcy court She's trying to say she ain't got no money. And so she has to file in the United States Bankruptcy Court for the Northern District of Georgia, the Atlanta Division, basically saying what she have in assets for her, how much she got in the bank, what she do with all her money, yada, 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 in order to get out of paying what she owes the woman she viciously assaulted, um, which the court, the federal court, has ordered her to pay that amongst a lot of her other creditors. So to get out of paying that, she filed for bankruptcy so she don't have to pay that amongst other people that she owes. The list of creditors, if y'all want to go see it, is also on my my Instagram if you want to go down. Um, and I'm, and it's, let me see, if you want to go down, it's, it's on there as well. Let me see, I gotta find it actually. It's like I posted a long time ago. Amongst the people that the brat actually oh so that's on um yikes it's for that i'm gonna repost it to the front because i can't find it there if i can't find it that quick then me y'all can't find it that quick either uh okay so yeah it's, it's there but i'm gonna um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna repost that so we can see that it was the list of creditors and they include such people as the woman she assaulted which is uh Sheila stevens and she owes sony synchrony bank uh, she owes the United States District Attorney, United States Attorney's Office, um, the IRS, BMW, Capital One. It's an <laughs> entertainment one. This is all public information that I have found in the culpability of South Africa. So I'm going to repost that to the top so that y'all can see that if y'all want to go on my page and see it. But right now, um, and I'll post. So right now, though, what we talk about, so she has to, what she has to do. Right. So what I'm, so maybe, so allegedly, what's allegedly. Allegedly, understand the word allegedly. Allegedly, big booba booba, hubba bubba, hoop jubba, bibi jibi, I don't know. <laughs> big bologna sandwich. The real big bologna sandwich. That got to be what the BB stands for. The real big bologna, bitch. I promise you. The real big bologna. The big. <laughs> hey, what's going on? So the the real big baloney is alleged. So what's allegedly what I'm looking at just from looking at from the outside looking at. So I don't have no proof of this yet, yet. But I don't have no proof of this yet. So I'm, I'm letting y'all know about what's what's what. Why is she doing all this? Why is she declaring bankruptcy? I mean, she 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 went so she goes on these shopping sprees and her and a big voodoo voodoo, her and a big bobo. They be running around and doing stuff and driving Bentleys and stunting on people. And all of a sudden, you swear to God, you have no money after all these years of rapping. You've been twenty twenty eight thousand dollars. Oh, child, I go write you a check <laughs> for that. So allegedly. Girl, so but this the now that was part was allegedly. Why are you why are you claiming broke? Why are you crying broke? All right, so the United States, so she filed for chapter eleven and a chapter thirteen bankruptcy. One of them, the thirteen, was just charged. Uh, the eleventh, the chapter eleven bankruptcy. Um, she is ordered to file a report. Um, and it's established by the United States government. The United States government um have have ordered her to file reports about her and, and it's supposed to be truthful so basically it's stuff that gets certified to the court saying this is where what this is what i got this is what I, let me know I, you can't get i don't have nothing that's what she's saying 
So this is what she's 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 saying to the report. So we're gonna get into it right now. I have also, if y'all want to see for yourself or follow on, if y'all have some second phone, y'all can just click the link in the bio, in my bio, and you can see the whole report. For for the YouTube people, I will put the link in the description so y'all can see the whole report because it's public information, girl. <laughs> and I'm just being a messy petty uh, person today. So um, let's get into it. Without further ado, um, like I said, the United States government have uh, for have not forced her, well, yeah, they forced her to actually file reports about where what she do with her money, and what she what she what she what she where's that where it's going how it's coming in and everything else. And we're gonna look at everything line by line today because we both. <laughs> okay, so um, let's just let me just turn the screen around. Hold on one, one second. Oh, one thing before, I, oh, one more church announcement, if y'all don't mind me uh, plugging something right quick. I have to plug something. I gotta plug something. It wouldn't be shaky if I didn't plug something. Y'all know. It would be shaky. I want to plug something. Can I plug something right quick? We're going to get into the calm down, sister. I forgot to find it. All right. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to plug this right quick. I just don't want to have up right now, and we'll get right into it. So, um, how do I turn this around? Okay, so I'm going to plug right quick. Let me take the this off. The Kingdom by Rodney M.C. Shaker Russo. My book, I finally finished it. Um, we're looking to put, this is my uh, street literature novel. It's one that I originally wrote in jail, but then I actually redid while I was up here and it should be dropping at the end of this month. I would appreciate it if y'all go. It's going to be available on Amazon and Kindle first and then we're going to put it to audiobook afterwards. So make sure y'all go and cop that. Uh, it will be $15. If you got a trade in jail or a trade that like to read the urban novels, this is definitely one that is on that level. It is very good, I promise you. So that's what I'm going to plug because I just ain't another stuff. I ain't another stuff. All right, so let's get into this. Like I said, the link is in my bio if y'all want to. Um, the cover, keep it up. So the link is good. I'm going to talk about it. We're going to do a live about that at another time. I just want to plug something. So be on the lookout for that. All right, so let's get into it. It's now Amazon. Yeah, be on Amazon by the end of the month. Yep. It just got finished like today. <laughs> All right. So this is the actual the United. This is the actual document that was filed um, last week, about nine days ago, with um, the court. And um, this is that's her. That's the brat. And that's uh, this is what it is. So this is the first thing. Now this is public information. Anybody that's culpable could go find it themselves. Um, and this is shows the cash at the beginning of the month was thirty eight hundred dollars and ninety five cents. So she had thirty. She had three thousand dollars on. She's nationally accredited on the radio, sleeping with a supposed gazillionaire, and she got thirty eight thousand dollars, thirty eight hundred dollars. Excuse me, in the bank, child. <laughs> I hate when people stunt, they really ain't like that. But okay, now this is what she's swearing. Now she's basically swearing to, this is the form that she actually has to fill out. So she's saying she 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 um came, so she came in with, uh so she had income of 22,000, outcome of 22,000. So she basically kind of broke even outside of $100, which leads uh to have still less than $5,000 in the bank at the end of the month. And she actually signed that herself on that day, on the 20th of July of this, which was a couple, which was a week or so ago. Yeah. All right, so let's see. So we're going to get into where the money come from. So on, <laughs> where the money come from, where it's going, and we're going to get into every last detail of her little life. Um, she's, <laughs> I'm talking about, we're going to know how much she paid for life insurance, how much she paid for car insurance, how much she paid for medical insurance, to pay $130 for medical insurance, $158 for, girl, she got some cheap car insurance, girl, from, from State Farm, she got State Farm. Okay, sister. All right, girl, you can put me on your car insurance. So she got some cheap car insurance and $420 a month, a year for life insurance. So that's how, we get into all of it. <laughs> we get into all of it. She got some cheap car insurance, girl, 158 a month. For stay far? All right, girl. So this is her. Yeah, that's she got her. She bank at Wells Fargo. I'm gonna go ahead and, and blot out her uh, her account number. The court didn't though. The court didn't. But I'm blot it out. Um, so she got forty seven hundred dollars in the bank. All right, let's see some more stuff. All right, so this is what she's spending her money on. So she's so cash the disbursements. She's giving this money she didn't give away. So, so some woman named Gillian, she crashed up her 
a hundred dollars on the first for a gift basket. I wonder if that was for and though she got some Instacart that she I guess she used on her cash app or or whatever on her card from her Wells Fargo bank for groceries. Girl, we getting into it, girl. <laughs> so she spent a couple hundred dollars on groceries on the first. Let's get into everything now, cause we go go everything. All right, so she spent some more groceries, girl. You can eat, our sister. Four hundred dollars, girl. You better stand up for food stamps. You claim that, bro. This girl, we go ahead. Listen, listen, listen. We are petty. We are petty. We are gonna go line by line. And we're gonna talk about this bitch line by mammy motherfucking line. Bitch, if I don't like you, bitch, you already know what's finna happen. I they should have told you before. You should have listened to you should you should have had Big Bubba Bubba, Big Juggy Juggy, whatever his <laughs> big bologna sandwich, call stupid penny and say, Bitch, what is this punk gonna do to me? Bitch, we getting all up in your business, bitch. Ain't we not finna leave now stone? Unturned, bitch. And if there's one thing that don't look right, bitch, you better hope we don't find that, bitch. Okay? <laughs> we gonna find that out and see how much she make a do. So, okay, she bought some groceries for $400. <sighs> so she paid a... Uh, <laughs> on the third, she paid a credit card payment for $1,000. She paid a $1,000 credit card payment. Now, what is this? Now, this was kind of strange. But on the third, also, she paid a medical bill. A medical bill to Wellstar Health. For four hundred eighty-six dollars and thirty-seven cents. What sh- what kind of sick that is? <laughs> but okay. Oh wait, wait. That must be the um health insurance. Let me see. What? How much our health insurance is? Let's go back up and see, girl. No, her health insurance ain't number one hundred thirty dollars a quarter. That's some cheap health insurance too. Because you better get on the bottom of the you dummy. <laughs> so, all right. Did she pay the insurance note? Okay. Bought some more groceries at Kroger in Holmes Creek, Georgia. <laughs> okay now this is kind of crazy this one was crazy a purchase on cash app to a line ride whoever that is for casual labor three hundred dollars but that's about sister we need to we need the answers all right so then she's she's paid up credit card bill american express all right okay sister american express then she per she made she she got her makeup done by somebody named nika nikia date bitch we going in everything how I get this info, I'm shaky. Don't, n- girl, I can't, bitch, don't ever get on my bad side unless you want your whole life exposed. And when I say life, I mean life. <laughs> she got, so this girl did a makeup for $200. That's kind of high, that's paid, girl. All right, so then she bought some clothes from Amazon for $36. Okay, then she had a, she had a wire transfer fee for fifteen hundred dollars, which is probably the fee for her incoming. So apparently, this is her salary, and it says she ink. Now, what I'm assuming this is is probably like her morning show stuff, like that. That's what I'm assuming. So that was a seven thousand dollars salary that she's getting. That's probably for that, if I'm not mistaken. But we're gonna look into it some more. We're gonna find out what. She, let me write that down so I can look that up and see what the fuck she ink is, and find out. Where that's coming from since I ain't got nothing to do on this damn near pandemic. We're going to find that out too. So, um, <laughs> so then we have, she paid $140 for internet, whatever Windstream is. I can't think it's our streaming service. Then she went to CVS on the first and got some personal items for $63. Hmm. Hmm. Personal items. She got some gas at the BP in Alpharetta, Georgia for $57. Oh, that's a high call. Then she got some Uber Eats. That must have been for her and Judy because the price is $81. <laughs> that had to be for you in that big tubby. Then she went to Wendy's the same day and got some $17. Y'all could do some eating, girl. Y'all just bought $400 worth of groceries. All right, so then you went to the nail spa and spent $153 on your nails. Okay. Some more groceries. <laughs> Some more groceries on the 12th. Then you bought something. My 8J on Amazon.com. $81. My 8J. I wonder what that is. Let's, let's, let me look at this. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Oh, that was the, uh, this is the, uh, <laughs> this is the, uh, this is the, uh, 
the people she oh that's what that is if y'all can't see it so it's hold on it's my aj what the fuck is that women's high heel pumps also you bought some pumps you bought you some pumps i said <laughs> okay okay she bought us the pumps pump 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 it up i want to know she so paid for her amazon prime mo food taco bell now, see, I knew she was a Trump supporting girl. You're supposed to run for the border, bitch. Girl, look. <laughs> okay. Some old food. Hagen dies. Six dollars. CVS. Personal items. Girl, she stay going to CVS for personal items. What the girl? What you, girl, what you? Girl, what? Girl, why? Now, we do know there are reports coming in from people saying something about her getting... Feminine hygiene products and calling for feminine hygiene products. People are saying that. That has come across the desk. Now, we can't corroborate that, but she stayed at some CVS for personal items. <laughs> you be the judge of it. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not giving it. <laughs> I'm not giving it. Did somebody say it's says itch cream? Girl, not the itch cream. Okay, so she got some gas at Narcos at the Shell. <laughs> Hugh James Mobile Car Wash. $95 to wash out car. Then her security, whoever this Jamel dude is, she paid him $100 through cash out. Then she got some more food from Uber Eats, girl. God, baby, y'all should get stuck in Uber Eats. All right, let's go. We're going to get into all of it, girl. <laughs> Listen. Let me tell y'all something. Bitch, don't ever play with me, bitch. Don't ever play with me. Unless you want your whole entire existence on these people internet. Do not play with me. If you ever don't if you don't want your whole entire existence oh here. Yeah. Leave me alone. Just let me shade in peace. Let's go. Let's get into it. Alright. So um some more Instacart groceries. 183. Cell phone charge from Apple. That must be your iTunes. Huh? 710. Pay your car note. Okay, so let's pay that car note. To pay both of your car notes. Okay. Some more stuff from Apple. What that 290 is, girl? What the, what the Dyke app is, girl? Oh, excuse me, the, the lesbian app. <laughs> girl, what that is. All right. Bought some gas. More groceries. Girl, who is you feeding, girl? Girl. Who is you feeding? And guess what after that? More groceries. Girl. Now listen. So on 615, they was down here. Cause that's Lydell. That's Louisiana. They was down here on the 15th. So this is this 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 down here is is, is Louisiana. She, so she came down here on the 15th. Bought some food. Walgreens for more personal items. What? PJ's coffee in New Orleans. 1450. Now she went. She got a hair done on the fifteenth when she was down here by somebody named Ebony Burr, whoever that is. She's the hairstylist, charging one seventy five to do her hair. So she back in Georgia later that day to get some Taco Bell. Bow. <laughs> the list of your Wire transfer surgery. She got another seven thousand dollars. That's probably from her morning shows and stuff like that. Salary. Oh, uh, she got a refund for three twenty four. I don't know why the PJs sent a refund, but okay. Um. At more Alabama, she was in shells, four fifty three. Her security, two hundred dollars. Uber, ground transportation. So she called an Uber girl, went somewhere. She got some flowers for probably the food, food, food she be for for big baloney sandwich. I cannot get sued. This is public information. It's public information. This is you can find this information as well. Anybody with cop, anybody that wants to dig can find this. This is public information. <laughs> so stop. More groceries. Girl, there's some eating bitches, girl. <laughs> okay. So back in Georgia, some gas. More CVS. More personal items. Listen. I'm like, okay, that's a lot of eating. But sister, that's a lot of personal items you keep going to TBS for, sister. And you spending nice little changes, girl. I'm just saying. That's kind of like, mm. Because guess what we have again, bitch? Not too far down the street, you have CBS. 
personal items. Girl, what did you get from CVS? All right. Brewster's ice cream. <laughs> so, A-line ride, casual help. Got a hairstyle, same lady. PNC Bank, business card payment. Sagstra, that's her insurance. Jeff Barb, somebody else, casual help. Now, who you find Jeff Barb? Who is you paying Jeff Barb? Jeff Barb. Let me see that name sound familiar as fuck. Jeff Barb. Who the fuck is Jeff Barb and why you get him $500? Jeff Barb. That name sound familiar. So somebody named Jeff Barb should give $500 to talk about casual help. Casual help. Oh no, <laughs> I'm going. I'm on it, bitch. Bitch, I'm on it. So watch this. All right. So let's get into it. So she had to pay sixty-six dollars for garbage disposal, some more groceries, raising canes in Mobile, Alabama, ten dollars. Landscaping, thirteen hundred dollars. Wow. Girl, I could come cut that grass for fifty fifty dollars. Girl, I could cut the grass, girl. More groceries, more groceries, more groceries, more groceries. Instacart, goddamn. Clothing accessories. She not a okay. She not a real snazzy dressing bitch. It's not. GPC EFT. Electronic. So that's say some GPC Georgia Power Company utility. She paid a little. She paid us personal assistant five hundred dollars. Uh huh. This weather, I'm thinking is look. You gotta look at them. She zelled to a personal assistant. Did you just pay your personal assistant, girl? The so sister, the sister that she owe. You really need to get on your. You need to look at everything line by line, sister. Cause some of this stuff just is just too observant. You, I would be like, baby, you can doing all this stuff. Baby, run me my money. You doing all this? Run me my money. That's how I'll be. Nineteen forty nine for a newspaper subscription. Who? Wall Street Journal. Girl, you don't read no damn newspaper. Clothing accessories. Okay, that's the first big time she spent something. Back to CVS. Back to CVS. Personal items. Girl. Paid her credit card. Paid her insurance. Got her makeup done. She got paid from Sound Exchange. She got nineteen hundred dollars in royalties. I guess her rap career wasn't all that hot, girl. Cause child. But anyway, you know. I ain't, you know, I ain't want to gossip, but you ain't heard that from me. So she gives somebody named Kate Clifton, Kate Clifton, a gift of $100. That's the gift basket. She told you $10 on her cell phone. And she, I, I, I too charge you twice a month. Girl, stop it. Food and beverage, cell phone charge, three forty nine. dollars Best Buy phone. Huh? Girl, I'm find out you have a whole fucking prepaid, bitch. Food and beverage, Bank charges, her salary, food and beverage again, Instacart, girl. Instacart, goddamn. Zell cash the parent. That's for her mama, Nadine Trotter. That's her mom. Okay. Casual, or grandma, I think. Casual labor to Jeff Barb. Girl, why is Jeff Barb constant? What does this mean, casual labor, sister? Now watch this. Zell to Green Ryan Uncle. Healthy food, chef. $300. Didn't you just spend like $3,000 on Instacart and Razor Games? Now you want to eat healthy all of a sudden? Didn't you just... Is it me? Or did you just not spend five racks on Instacart, Uber Eats, and Razor Games? You and that big... <laughs> You and that big rhino that you got with you. Didn't y'all just spin? Jeff is the weed man. They said Jeff is the weed man. Bitch, I'm looking into We're going to find out. Casual label my ass. I'm going to find out who Jeff Bob is. Watch, bitch. I done put that. I done put two things. Two things so much on my pimp pad. Bitch, you know I'm going to find it out, bitch. Bitch, you going to spend healthy. Girl, you need to stop it, girl. Girl, pay that girl. Girl, pay that girl her money. This healthy chef. Stop it. Stop it.
You need to just stop. Please. Don't, the, look, Brett. Look. <laughs> what you're not going to do is play in our fucking face. See, I can't stand a bitch playing your face. Why would you sit your... <laughs> why would you... Why would you sit... <laughs> you, you peacock bitch. Why would you sit your plastic penis on these people's internet and pay somebody... $300 to buy a healthy food shelf and every single day you carry your nasty you <laughs> you in free willy y'all carry your nasty ass downstairs to go pick up some fucking Instacart girl what and you have the audacity to be on these people in there Talk about, look, I got to pay $300 for a healthy food, chef. Sit your dumb ass down. Girl, I can't, you bitch. <laughs> what, you getting some broccoli, bitch? You steaming some veggies? What the fuck? <laughs> that pus gonna start seeping out that girl ass. You keep doing no shit like that, bitch. Girl. Fuck. Girl. <laughs> girl, I can't even. Girl, I just can't but I, Look. I'm not going to play in y'all face talking about no healthy food, bitch. I eat whatever they got. Girl, I'm going to eat it and everything I want. I'm not going to even play in y'all face, girl. This bitch... That took me out, girl. What the fuck? Bitch, just because the just because Judy built like a broccoli stall, a broccoli, a broccoli stick, bitch, don't mean you got to pay the man for just to cook that up. <laughs> Let's go this way. So she paid some for some gas. 200 for a pet expense. I didn't even know Brad had a pet, but you know, I don't even pay no attention to stuff like that. Some more for her security. Girl, ain't nobody. Look, what the, who the fuck you think you is, bitch? The Bill Clinton Bob the whole bitch. Who the fuck you think you is, bitch? Drop on somebody. Ain't nobody trying to do you nothing. And you supposed to be, ain't you supposed to be the dude in relationship? If somebody come fucking with you, kick their ass. Why would you pay, the, pay that girl her money? All right, so she be on Hulu. I can respect that. I, I got my Hulu too. I, I like my little Hulu. I like my little Hulu and my little Netflix. I got to get those. I be having them too. So I ain't, you know, I got to get that. I understand. She, but she got some more gas filled up the trucks. And and so A-Line Rye, here we go. Here we go. Casual labor again. Girl, why is you, what, what is this? Why is you not paying this one? That's the, they got to be your weed man, sister. Because you know the weed man take cash out. Food and beverage. Pay K. Clifton another gift. You could pay gifts, but you can't pay this woman. I'm going to find out who these people is. Show shit stink. Watch. She got a little Spotify. I got my Apple Music, so I don't got the Spotify. She paid Direct TV. Now, that's the point to give me. Rent? Rent? I, you know, that ain't, that ain't that. And back to a little cell phone charge. Okay, so this is a certified document from the court. This is actually this was actually a certified document from the court signed by her, which she is basically swearing that this is her actual financial breakdown of what she did in June. And like I said, it is available. It is definitely available for y'all own review. It is public information, but it's, if y'all want to click the link in my bio, you can definitely see it and make your own determination. But um, you know, this is a lot of stuff going on. Uh, she is she is claiming that she has basically less than five thousand dollars to her name. Now this is worldwide and went everywhere and did everything. She has less than five thousand dollars to her name, and she's worth her 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 her, her net worth is less is only twenty eight thousand twenty eight thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. It said rent, sister. It said rent. It said rent. She's paying rent according to the what she's signing on to the court doc. Sorry. Saying, do she got a deep freezer? I don't know, but they need to go find. But so I don't know who she's paying, girl. But bitch, not okay. As you know, I have reported in the past, she had been cash up in Judy money. She living in Judy Pooty, that's why she got to pay rent. She got enough money to own, girl. What, how if she only got four thousand in the bank? <laughs> if she have a deep freezer, sister, I'm gonna find it. <laughs> 
<laughs> and she have a deep freeze. What's going on, Grand? She, uh, we, we talk about the bread and her foolishness and fuckery. If she have a deep freezer, she paying the wife rent. If she have a deep freezer, bitch, I'm going to find it, bitch. And I'm going to go to it, bitch. And I promise you, I tell that. I saw who? Who? How? And Sheila Stevens, bitch, I'm going to tell you it's in a deep freezer, bitch. That's what it is. That's what it, that's what the that's what the thing say. Y'all, y'all, hold up. Hold up. Hold up, sis. Rent. Check number 128. Rent. And if you look, if you need more, this is the actual statement from Wells Fargo. Let's get into it. <laughs> this is what it is. This is the actual statement. Let me take my own filter off. Hold on. Let me take the filter off. This is the actual Wells Fargo statement. What you're talking about. What you're talking about. Everyday checking. Sh Shante Harris Harrison. This is the Wells Fargo statement. This is the actual statement corroborating everything that we're talking about. What are you talking about? And that's 626, check number 126, check. That's $2,217, right? Well, guess what? Let's go back up here and you can corroborate 626, check number 2020. That's for rent, according to her. She had to sign off on this document. What do you mean? That's what it's saying. What y'all not saying? This bitch, I, you know I got everything, bitch. Bitch, that's a whole. That's look. <laughs> but you know, I don't. I don't leave no stone untorn, bitch. That's the State Farm note, bitch. <laughs> but you know, I don't leave nothing unturned, bitch. You see that State Farm, bitch? You know, I. But you know, I get everything, bitch. Stop it. Stop it, bitch. The only thing I don't know is who these who Jeff Bob is, bitch. This is actually a certificate of service, bitch. She had to sign this. This is an actual document that was filed in the the, the, the bankruptcy court, bitch. Stop it. Stop it. Talking about she girl, what? That's it. It's in the, the link is in my bio. You can check it out for yourself, as I said before. But this is definitely a document that she had prepared by her people and she signed off on that. It's her signature, the defendant, the debtor's signature. And it talks about all her money, all her finances, everything, what it's doing. It has the entire bank statements. It has all her bills. It has everything that you want to see if you really want to get in the bitch business. And this just goes to show, listen, let me just tell you something, sisters, and you celebrities that want to be stupid and play with shaky. Listen, and, and I just want to just let y'all know that, listen, if you don't want, if there's something in the world that you don't want the world... If you want, if there's something in the world that you don't, if there's a piece of your life that you want to keep private, your best bet is to leave me alone and just let me go ahead and shade you in peace. Because eventually I'm going to just forget about you and move on to the next subject. But at the same time, if you constantly decide to play with me, your whole life will be exposed on these people. Isn't it? And I mean your entire life. We're going to go line by line and look at everything, everything, everything that we could find. So... So it's so, and this is my thing. Now watch. Let me show you something. I mean, look, we can look at it two ways here, because either one or two things true. Is she really this broke? If she's really this broke, she's she's gold digging Judy. Duh, that's obvious. That's just obvious. If she, if she is really this broke, she's gold digging Judy. That's that's part one. But if she's not this broke and hiding money, she's committing obstruction of justice. She's committing perjury. Several, several federal and state crimes by lying by lying on court documents and trying to hide money that could be considered money laundering. So it's wrong either. If she's if she's this broke, Judy, she's a gold digger. I ain't, and she ain't fucking with no broke nigga. Understand that, home girl. I'm just letting you know. But if she ain't lying, if she is lying and she's this money hitting the freezer, guess what? The day the I'm gonna let you know the feds gonna find it, sister. I'm just the feds are shaky. <laughs> the feds. If you got money in the freezer and you hiding it, trying not to pay this girl that you owe and all these debtors you owe, the list of debtors just go on and on and on. The list of debtors is everybody from Ally Bank, Ally Bank, BMW Financial, the Capital One. A, a law office, into the realty departments, gateway lending, the Georgia Department of Revenue, Illinois Department of Revenue, the IRS, Lucy Roof, and all these people, all these people you owe, you owe these people, Sister Sheila Stevens and Sony Music, you owe all these people, Synchrony Bank, you know, guess what, sis, if you, <laughs> Santander, I thought you had that girl, that's a whole other thing, girl, Santander, Bitch, if you owe all these people and you hide the money that, and you hide it from the United States government, sister, they're going to you can listen to you can listen to Big Juba Juba. You can listen to big the big powerball if you want to. Trying to hide from them and not pay these people and, and they get your dumb duck ass for um money laundering, obstruction of justice, 
and mother and perjury because you submitting court documents that ain't accurate. So don't 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 Judy built like a Powerball ticket, bitch. <laughs> bitch, Judy built like a whole Powerball ticket, bitch. Bitch, bitch, scratch that hoe off. Trying to win the millions, bitch. Mega millions, that hoe. Bitch, that's what, let me tell you something. I ain't gonna lie, though. Real talk, Judy, from what this looking like, the brat look at you like a big Powerball ticket. <laughs> bitch, she's trying to scratch you off and get the millions, bitch. <laughs> Fool. Three, seventeen, twenty-two, jackpot, bitch! You looking like a mega millions to the bitch. So what? So you? So so, Brad, you can listen to this bitch if you want to and be hiding them people money. You not that smart, I don't think. I, I just have, I just can't see it. Now I'm, I'm trying to figure out. You know why I don't think you're that smart, Brad? Because you're so boring as fuck. Every time I listen to you, you don't have nothing you spilling really. You might have, you had one or two things that you had that was kind of good. You reported on or talked about, but your your opinions are bland. You're you're foolish. You, you sound un, you sound uncouth. You sound like you don't really have an opinion on nobody's show. You sound bo and you're just boring to listen to. You're bringing Ricky Smiley show down. That I'm sorry. I'm just being real. I know I don't like it, but I'm being real from from, a, from an MC to what you trying to be an MC, sister. As a host, you know you there's ways to entertain, and you just not doing it, babe. <laughs> you just not doing it. So <laughs> you so that that career for you, I know it's on its on its last legs. They ain't gonna be paying you seven thousand dollars. <laughs> For 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 the for the fuckery you bring to the table, so you need to be looking at something else right now, making songs and stuff that nobody listens to. You, that's that's over. That career over. Sometimes you gotta just retire. You're getting old, sister. You get old. All the people, your Sony, Sony still want their money, and and the IRS, sister. You gotta do something else. I'm just being. I'm just being real. You're the most boringest person on the show. <sighs> you just know the most boringest person. I listen to it, and who, <laughs> and that's what it is. She should have been canceled. Period. Now with that, so that's that's the that's the one that's the first part about it. The second part. What y'all talking about in the comments? Who, nobody care about no fuck. We ain't talking about no super right now. They should have just kept Portia for the morning show, Miss Juice. Yeah, ain't nobody talking about no super super girl. Tell these people why super canceled. Oh girl, we talking about the we talking about we talking about the brand. I ain't nobody talking about no super right now. We gonna talk about super when whenever I feel like Michelle should be mad. Right now we ain't talking about we talking about the brand, the brand and her brokenness. Okay, so again, um, so it, you, you, that's your options right there. So you can either be listening to Judy lying, trying to hide these people money, and you're going and listen. So, so that's the one way ticket to jail. I'm letting you know. I hope that's not what you're doing. I hope you're really this broke. And if that's the case, if you're really that broke, that means my home girl. My homegirl, my good Judy, Judy, my friend, my friend, the Powerball ticket, my friend, the rubber band man himself, the Teflon Don Judy, is motherfucking in for it because this bitch is going to drag her through the mud financially. <laughs> so, bitch, both of them is, 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 is what it is. So like I said again, I will repost the list of debtors so y'all can see this is on my page. It was put June 4th, so you gotta scroll all the way down. And then um I'm gonna show y'all this too while we add it. And then this was because this was one of time too. She um you know she used to be sending zelling Mama Jessica gifts, but that was way in March. She stopped doing that. When I asked the question, is Judy helping a brand hide money from the bankruptcy court? I should, so now all you're seeing is these unnamed people, Jeff Barb and A Line Rod and K Clifton. But well, we're gonna find out who they is. Who heck Darius Cooks was? All right. So that was that. Well, that was that. You heard me. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share if you can. This is the shadiest blog on the planet. Um, the pettiest one. We don't like certain people. We drag them through the mud, and we don't give a damn about it after that. Uh, I'm gonna go see what they talking about because evidently something is going on. 
Uh, and we want to see what it is. And we definitely want to get me back with you about that. But that's that. If, again, if you want to see it, the link is in the description for my people on YouTube. And the link is in my bio for my people on Instagram. If you want to see the whole thing yourself, you can see it. It is public information. And you can definitely see it. And that is that. I do thank y'all for joining me. We, I was told y'all was bored. We were going to get enough finances. And we went line for line. As always, this is MC Shaky. I am the host of Submission. And that has been on The Skip. I love y'all.